In this video, I'm gonna show you what kettlebell you have to buy. We're comparing different sizes and different weights. But before we get started, I have a gift for you. 30 days filled with kettlebell workouts for free. Check the first link in the description and sign up. Grüezi miteinander, Gregory von Lebestag here. When it comes to kettlebells, you have a host of options that you can choose from. For a beginner, this might be confusing. Hence, here comes this handy kettlebell weights and size guide for you. Now, first things first, what I want you to avoid and what I don't want you to buy is these crappy kettlebells. Anything that's made out of plastic, anything that is rectangular, not bell-shaped like, and anything that is trying to emulate the kettlebell per se. So with the crap out of the way, we're left with three options. The cast iron, the fitness competition kettlebell, and the holocore competition kettlebell. When you check out the price tag of either of these three kettlebells that I'm about to show you, you might be tempted to opt in for the cheaper ones. But the cheap kettlebells do not offer you the same benefits, the same level of enjoyment, the same level of fun, and the same elevated chances of achieving passion for kettlebell training. Passion translates into regular exercise down the line. This means you'll go out of your way to train on a regular basis. And this can only be achieved with a proper kettlebell. So here we have the three contestants, the cast iron kettlebell, the fitness competition kettlebell, and the hollow core competition kettlebell. Now all kettlebells have the same specs. We have a handle, we have two horns, we have the upper arc and the lower arc, it's also referred to as the upper corner and the lower corner, we have the kettlebell window, we have the bell, and we have the Base. So let's start with the cast iron first. It is easy for beginners to handle, especially when you also start working with double kettlebells. The second point is they are extremely durable since they are made out of cast iron. Number three, if you have a big collection, this doesn't take up a lot of space as compared to a competition kettlebell. The handles do change, so the bigger the kettlebell is, the bigger the handle gets. So for people with large hands, it is perfectly made to grab and grip. And the weights go up to so-called monster kettlebells, which go up to 92 kilograms of weight. This is an 8 kg, just for reference. So let's check out the cons of the cast iron kettlebell. Since it changes in diameter and size, the bigger it gets, you always have to adapt your form and technique to a bigger type of kettlebell. The kettlebell window is not as compact and it may be that it differs as well. So when you start inserting your hand, especially for cleans and snatches, certain institutions only allow their coaches to train with the cast iron kettlebell, which depending on the perspective might be an unnecessary bias. Cast iron kettlebells can be quite expensive when you move up in the weights. They are not perfectly suited for juggling if that's something that you are interested in. And as far as I'm aware, cast irons are only available with 4 kg increments. So this means if you work with an 8 kg, the next will be a 12 and then a 16 and then a 20. Next up is the fitness competition kettlebell and here's what I like. First of all, a competition kettlebell is always the same size and the same diameters. So you don't have to adapt for technique when you move up in weights. The color coding is subtle on the horns and the rest is black, which might be a preferable design choice for some people. The window of this particular fitness competition kettlebell is slightly bigger, which accommodates well for large hands. Because of the weight displacement towards the belly and towards the base, a fitness competition kettlebell lends itself perfectly for juggling. And the last thing that I like about these kettlebells is they are affordable and still a good quality choice. Now here's what I don't like about this kettlebell. Because it has a filler and it is welded shut, you can hear this, the kettlebell or the material inside starts breaking after using it for longer periods or after longer periods of time. This might be distracting or even disturbing for some people. Some of the batches do have a design problem. Here you can see that the window is smaller, here it is bigger, and the handle is different. So if you get a bad batch, you have a different type of hand insertion and a different type of handle. And depending on the perspective, some people might not really like this, is the technique and form requirements for a competition kettlebell is a little bit higher. So if you start with double 12s, for example, it is 
completely different than if you start with double cast iron in that regard. The color coding, again, depending on the perspective, might be a problem. Some people want a full paint job on their kettlebell so it's easier to distinguish. And again, most of these fitness competition kettlebells only come with 4 kg increments, the same increments, so it's 8, 12, 16, so on and so forth as with the cast iron. So here goes the hollow car competition kettlebell. And what I really like about these is these are our own kettlebells. So this is the biggest advantage when you start swinging with these because you have the beautiful Ellis logo engraved right here. Biggest benefits of them all. Jokes aside, let's check out the pros and cons. The color coding is fairly visible and beautiful. We have a great paint job here with the weight increment down here and this makes it easily distinguishable. Again, same as with the fitness competition kettlebells, it is one size only, so it doesn't matter what kind of weight you're choosing, you're always working with the same diameter and the same size of a kettlebell. Now the window is a little bit smaller compared to the fitness competition kettlebell, which makes for a nice and compact hand insertion. One of the biggest advantages of this kettlebell is the feeling that you get when you swing it. We call it super flow. There's just a superior flow feeling that you get with a swing, a clean and a snatch because of the hollow core single cast built. Single cast means we use high density, high quality metals for this type of kettlebell because the single cast has to be equal of this weight. So this is a 16 kg cast. As for this one, if you might remember, here's filler. So the biggest difference is no crackling and the super flow feeling. Another benefit that I like about the Holocore Competition Kettlebell is 2 kg increments. So you have 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, so on and so forth, which is a perfect addition and a perfect choice and benefit, especially for women. And the final benefit is this beautiful handle, which has just a superior feeling and a superior finish compared to a fitness competition kettlebell. Now, since this is a labor stock Superflow kettlebell, I don't think it has any disadvantages. Jokes aside, again, of course, there are some disadvantages that we're gonna cover right now. Now, technique requirements are a little bit higher with a competition kettlebell like here. And I mentioned that you have a compact hand insertion when you jump into a clean snatch, so on and so forth. But this also might be a hurdle or a problem for certain people because form and technique have to be down pat. So a beginner has to work for longer periods of time on the skill of moving this type of kettlebell. Again, the color coding, which is extremely visible. Some people might not prefer this type of design choice. They want it to be more subtle. Now a Holocore competition kettlebell is a little bit more expensive than the fitness one. You can compare it with the cast iron. For example, our kettlebells, our LS Superflow competition kettlebells. We start with $89.99 with an 8 kg and it jumps up to $127.99 for a 24 kg. Because of the hollow core single cast built, the weight sits closer to the handle, which creates this type of super flow feeling that you feel in the swing, the snatch, and the jerk. But for juggling, it is not as well rounded and doesn't feel as proper when you juggle it. I see professionals and heavyweights who juggle with hollow cores as well. But from my recommendation, and if you want to get started with juggling, you might want to opt in for a fitness competition kettlebell. Another reason is this type of kettlebell is not as expensive as this one. So if this one breaks, you're not as sad as you would be if one of these beauties gets a serious hit. Now for the last portion of this video, let's talk about starting weights. If you are a woman just getting started, I would recommend an 8 kg kettlebell, which is the pink one. And if you're a man just getting started, I would recommend a 12 kg. We are huge fans of using the one kettlebell to rule them all methodology. This means I want you to be able to move with one weight only and train your full body. After some period of time and after your skill level went through the roof and you've gotten stronger, you can upgrade to the next weight. It is good for starters just to start with one weight only to see is kettlebell training something for me? Do I like it? Instead of just investing a lot of money and then finding out maybe kettlebell training is not really for me. Even though I think this happens 
fairly rarely, but it does happen. So you want to make sure that you opt in or that your investment is not as big when you're getting started. Now you might be wondering what kind of kettlebell exercises can I use or can I do with a 12 kg if you are a man or an 8 kg if you are a woman respectively. Like I mentioned, we wanna train the whole body and one of the core unique benefits of a kettlebell is the ballistic exercises. So this might be a swing. Doesn't matter if you use it for one hand, two hands, or using both hands. Then we have a clean and snatch. These are these three types of ballistics and unique exercises that you do with kettlebells. But you can also do a lot of different exercises. For example, a hand-to-hand -hand deadlift, a double-handed press, a goblet squat. So you can pretty much train your whole body with one weight only. And even if you've advanced to a point where you need a heavier kettlebell and you probably are not able to afford one or it's just not an option right now, you can still make the exercise harder. For example, we can do, instead of a normal deadlift, we can do a Romanian deadlift where tension is always high. Instead of a hand-to-hand -hand swing, I can do a single hand swing. Instead of a normal strict press, I can do a bottom-up press. Instead of a normal farmer's walk, which is the great exercise of suitcase walk in that regard, I can do, again, a bottom up walk or a waiter's walk, there's a couple of ways where you can make the exercise a bit harder without you having to opt in for a heavier weight. Now, if you're interested in buying one of our super flow competition kettlebells with the hollow core and the beautiful Ellis logo on it, which gives you the most bang for your buck, sign up right now for the waiting list, you find a link in the description. If you're watching this video a little bit later, it might be that we have already opened up shop. If that is the case, order your kettlebell today. Now here's the next thing that you have to do. You have to like the video, consider subscribing, share this video with a friend, and then go watch this video right here. Here I'm presenting you the case as to why I believe with evidence why are Superflow competition kettlebells offer you the biggest bang for your buck? Go watch it right now.